Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao has once again emphasized the mainland's top priority, stabilizing rising prices in the country. Premier Wen said the government does not plan to alter the direction of its economic policies. He said that the slowdown was reasonable and within government expectations. Well, his comments come as China reports its latest purchasing managers index data. The index is a key indicator of the health of the manufacturing industry in the country. And during the last global economic slowdown, demand from China supported many export-dependent Asian economies. And today's support will be watched keenly to see how fresh concerns of a slowdown in the U.S. and Europe, two of China's biggest markets, have affected the country's manufacturers. For more now on the Chinese economy and its manufacturing report, we're speaking now with Duncan Inniskur of the Economist Intelligence Unit in our Beijing studios. Uh, Duncan, thank you so much for joining us. Um, how are you expecting manufacturers in China to have fared in the month of August? I think we're expecting a continuation of the current trend, which is essentially a gradual release of some steam from the economy. So. Uh, a trend towards cooling, slight slowing down, but still pretty rapid growth. And will this trend continue this month and into the fourth quarter of 2011? I think certainly we're expecting a, a continuation. If you look at the export side of things, uh, the outlook is, is gradually deteriorating. And the government is maintaining its monetary policy relatively tight, taking a lot of steam, particularly out of the property sector. We're, we're expecting that to come on, uh, on into effect over the next few months. Uh, we're already seeing small and medium enterprises facing financing difficulties and, and constrained on their investment front, that side. So I think the, the outlook for a continued cooling of the economy, but still rapid growth, is, is still very much in place. So you're saying then, uh, Duncan, that China today cannot be counted on to help avert a global economic slowdown, just like what they did in 2008 and 2009? I think the, the situation is that China is certainly contributing positively to global economic growth. And if we look at uh, the proportion of global growth accounted for by China, that certainly is still very large. Uh, but certainly we're not expecting a massive stimulus of the sort seen in 2008, 2009, any moment soon. What about the uh, Chinese yuan? It continues to uh, move from strength to strength. How far can it go to basically support uh, business uh, and for exporters not to lose money? I think a lot of this depends on the strength of the U.S. dollar. The Chinese government's very carefully monitoring uh, its exchange rate policy in terms of the U.S. dollar. Uh, if the U.S. dollar remains weak, I think the uh, rate of appreciation will remain very rapid. Uh, but uh, if the U.S. dollar strengthens, I think things could cool down a bit. Duncan Nenis from the Economist Intelligence Unit in Beijing, thank you, sir, for your insights.